But no, I'm probably the only person that would rather take on like a steelhead with like a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to Endless Mode. Uh, salmon run with Captain Emoji is quite the experience. <laughs> So defeat all the enemies. It's another charger level. Did you did you get the house party reference? No. The what? Check out the the stage name. No kid in her play in house party uh, station. Okay. Do you remember kid and play? No. Really? Really. Oh my god. Uh yeah no kid and play was like very 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 quintessentially nineties movie. Uh, or movies. There were several of them. The house party movies. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. It's it's what I have to imagine an ad exec thought that, like, it was like being an urban youth. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it was, it was about house party. I mean, th we're not talking about deep lore here. Well, it doesn't look like I'm under a time limit, so that's nice. <laughs> Not under a time limit, but you are under the gun. <laughs> the Octo's Nightmares. But no, if you, if you want to see, like, the 90s and all of its, like, weird day-glow, baggy-pants glory, uh... You can do worse than Kid and Play. <laughs> Again, though, I have to wonder who... Who decided these were the references that we're gonna... <laughs> That this is what was going to make the cut for the, uh, for the stage names. And of course, are these the references in Japan? They can't be. I, I can't, I can't imagine Kid and Play had a lot of play in Japan. Uh, I would imagine it must be a bunch of, like, Japanese 90s references. Okay, so I gotta fight that guy. Gotta admit, having the uh, scope not actually that useful. Got him. Hey, I'll take it. I like how they swing wildly in uh, difficulty levels. Oh, yeah. It's very all or nothing. So what's the brand name for this guy? Zico. I hate the sea but love the breeze. The sandy shore I will endure just for that brisk Zephyrus tease. Alright. I know now why you ink. Hasta la vista station. Oh my god. Terminate, Terminate all the enemies before the time runs out. All right. Does that mean Inklings cry ink? I don't see why they want it. I know now why you cry, but I can never do it. Also, I like to think that means canonically that Arnold Schwarzenegger cannot cry. <laughs> Not because of any kind of manliness, but like, I don't know, like a terrible accident or like, you know, just sort of a genetic thing. Whoa. It's like Space Invaders. It is exactly Space Invaders. Are they moving forward? Yes. Oh, that's delightful. At least they don't seem to be... Oh. No, they're shooting. Are they speeding up? It, I don't know if they're speeding up, but it's definitely Space Invaders. Oh, that's great. I'm sorry that you died, but it is great that they found a way to make uh, Ink Invaders. <laughs> It's an invasion. Okay, okay, okay. Space invaders. Sorry, I'm very proud of that. I 
I will say, though, I do wish that uh, Space Invaders had splash damage like you do. Right? Well, theoretically, I could be doing this with a Splatling gun, which is also hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. Ow. No, yep, no, they, no, no. Pearl and Marina did say to step back. Yes, they did. Fair point. <laughs> what have you learned? Yeah, listen, listen to Pearl and Marina. Listen to the girls. They have my... The girls have my best interest at heart. They really do. They are moving forward. They do eventually move back. Like, they don't... They don't move past a certain point. But, uh... They do... Uh... Move forward. Watch that destroy the enemy by shooting through our own defenses. This is madness. Oh, no! Ugh. Oh, you had it. Yeah, I can see the advantages of the splatline gun over the rapid blaster now. Much better range. Sure. It is kind of fun to watch an entire group of those just sort of... Well, sure. Though. For this spot, it's hilarious. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Little overconfident. Yeah, I don't want to get bogged down there. Get bad. And I do think you can always duck back there if you need to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, that part of the stage isn't denied to you if uh, if things go south. There's great right behind you. I don't want to spend too much time down there because I am on a time limit. Sure. But uh, I mostly okay. mentioned it for this part because <laughs> this was. I'm gonna need to take this guy out of there. Right? No, hit him, hit him. Okay. Uh, why did you have to take him out? What's that? Why did you have to take him out fast? He's got missiles. Oh, was that what happened last time? Yeah. I noticed he had different headgear, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't put that together immediately. Okay. So okay. All right. They have splash walls. Oh, you might need that, uh, yep. Oof. Ha. Huh. Alright. I think the Stingray's the plan, but it's not a great plan still. Like, I don't know how else you could do it, though, because you've got to pop the splash walls. Honestly, without the range of the Stingray, I just don't know how you do that. Without getting just wrecked by that uh... sniper. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's go for the recommended one. Oh, was the? the it was not. Was it just had the lowest uh, reward. Mm. Dynamo roller. Oof. It does have. Decent range flinging paint for a roller. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to do it. Although, I suppose your ground coverage would be real good as far as being able to get away from stuff. But you'd have to set the playing field in your favor now before the next one shows up. Yeah. Okay, so this phase is taking longer. Sure. But I do have a much better range. Which is allowing you to keep from getting hit quite as much. Just, like, in general. 
Also, can't help but notice that there's much more of your color of ink on the ground right now than yeah. uh, than when you had the blaster. It seems like one of your problems with the blaster was that you often got stuck with enemy ink behind you. So I think the top part of the ink rail is the vulnerable part. <laughs> Could you get onto that platform? Well, it's got a pickup for me, so I assume so. I mean, the ink wall's doing a real good job affording me, but. Looks like the pickup was an ink tank. Yeah. Which would be helpful, as you tend to be pretty low to ink pretty low on ink when you get there, but I think you're getting the hang of the uh, the slotling gun here. As that was definitely a, a much quicker take down of the uh, first round. Take that. I guess that's what you had to do, is you really did have to get in his personal space bubble. Didn't have the range to take down his shield, otherwise. Yeah. Good old classic video game mechanics. And the Stingray was a great idea, but we're not... It just doesn't do enough damage fast enough. Unless I could get him at the right angle. I was going to say, we're not good enough at putting it on target immediately. We really... We, no, I'm bad at Stingray. Like... You know, I've watched people in, like, the professional matches, and they know exactly where to put that thing on target. Yeah. So what you got for me, Ice Padre? When I escape... The old-timey hat. Oh, okay. That's great. I get Captain Cuttlefish's hat and glasses. You do? How very stylish. I like it. Uh, of course you do. Hey, a lot of that stuff comes back <laughs> into style. I suppose that's true. That's, and that's the, the line that ends the game, so we're going to ignore that for now. So, eye line. Toastmaster Station, defeat the boss. Y'all ready for this? Is that I the... know what boss it is. I was going to say, is that the... Uh... Okay, so uh, if you haven't watched Octo, okay. our original Splatoon 2 Octo Canyon uh, 
This boss is absolutely ridiculous. He is. You know climb. <laughs> Get your pun machine ready. I will I will try and rise to the occasion. There you go. Big scary dramatic entrance. Yep. It's preheating. Oh wow, it's hexagon octagonal hexagonal. I mean I hope it's octagonal considering it's the uh Oh, the Octarians. Yeah. If it's not octagonal, I feel like they missed out. Fighting your cinnamon raisin bread. I was gonna time. say some kind of cinnamon raisin bread going on here. Oh. Oh man, look at those upper crests. Okay. All right. They were ready for you. Yeah, they were. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> It doesn't even have all the uh, the armor yet. Again, everybody who complained Octo Canyon was too easy, so they made this harder. Uh, go to hell. <laughs> Just want you to let you know that I personally hate you. <laughs> Out. Ooh. I think you uh I think you needed to dodge. Well, I was trying, but I had gotten my armor popped by his defensive turrets. A thing he did not used to have. That's true, no one was minding the spread of it. <laughs> I mean it is like an automatic bread maker. I don't know why it needs to be, you know why so many eyes have to be on it, to be honest with you. Just gonna, just gonna back off and get my armor back. That's fair. Ink armor. Ah, I didn't. You needed to prove a little bit more. <sighs> Underproved. I can only w only wonder what fresh hell awaits me in the next stage. <laughs> Remember, uh, in the first game, uh, you actually had to fight the uh, the uh, Octa Oven twice. Yeah. No more dudes. Don't regenerate <laughs> your dudes. I can take whatever you got as long as you don't regenerate your dudes. He's got sprinklers and dudes. It does have sprinklers. Why does he have sprinklers and dudes? Need to get that nice glaze. hard bread like a like a baguette got splattered by a sprinkler you did well the sprinkler really just finished you off I mean this this bread was after you I mean I don't think I don't think it can be held against you No, it's, it's the sprinklers. It's what's messing me up. I will say, uh, they're rather inconveniently placed. Oh, it doesn't know where you are. 
Well, that's handy. I think that's the first time we've ever seen that. Also, it looks totally dead inside whenever it uh, goes into standby. It's very creepy, actually. Okay. Now's your chance to stack that bread. Okay. Get that dough. I'm gonna let it be. Deflected my curling bomb. It did. I mean, I think it got some ink on it, but it didn't really matter. It just, you know, bopped it with its head in the lower. What about its day? I was gonna say, who's throwing splat bombs up there? Rude. Okay, so I have a stingray? Um. Might be good for painting a path to the top. You know? If or because of the snipers. Oh, or because of the snipers. Uh, no, snipers. Snipers is fine. <laughs> oh, it's the glazer. It still has the glazer. Yep. I mean, it could be worse. There could be a whole bunch of octolings out there with butter brushes. Yeah. Oh, it has armor now. Oh, it's gonna wiggle you off, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. You have to peel some of the layers off this bread. Well, I mean, it is covered in green. Is there a bread with layers I should be making this joke about? Well, I mean, you do fold the bread uh, to get that good crumb. But okay. It's a surprisingly difficult version of the boss. You just have to take it slow and make sure to shred off its defenses layer by layer. Yeah. Some people don't like the crust on their bread, you know? You have to cut the crust off the bread. Damn it, I'm 30 seconds too late. <laughs> but hey, Marie. That's the cute. tides go out and take the light. How will I greet you when we meet? It keeps me up on ink-stained nights. Oh yeah, she said a lot of really mean stuff about Octolings in the first game. That actually <laughs> that actually is a good question, is Okay, reach the goal with limited ink. Dinky ink station. Limited ink. Okay. Oh, the ninety-six it's a, it's a, it's a shr like like shrinky dinks. Those oh, little I see. Plastic yeah. things you make that you should, yeah. Seriously, I somebody needs to send me some translated titles for the Japanese version because I want to know what the. Okay, so what the Japanese references were. That's probably a trap. So I just have to reach the goal. Right, but with a so limited amount of ink. What is that? Oh, crap. And they are all the dodge ones with the little uh, head rockets. But no, I think you're onto something there. Uh, what are those little ink refill tanks? Do they actually work? They do, but they're back there. Oh. So I probably have no choice but to... Oh, that one has a face shield. You're gonna have to outflank him.
Wait. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was a full refill. Uh, oh, it's a uh, umbrella. Yeah. Nice job. I was really confused. I was like, do you have to hit the yeah, buttons? Yeah, I think either, the, either those are a trap or they got themselves a special doohickey for getting all of them. Mm. But uh, I ain't going to risk it. Yeah. No, you made it. You got your you got your marshmallow. Got the important bit. Got the Cali. Yeah. Your song inspired a blush of love. It gave my heart a fresh new start. Now I ascend to shores above. Yeah. Do you think this guy was around when, uh... Yeah. I mean, he was around when Callie was working for the Octolings? I mean, he must have been. Brainwash? You, uh... You decided to leave after hearing, uh... Calvary yeah, but that, that might have been from the first game. Maybe. But, you know, that would also make sense. Hmm. Okay, no stress your... Don't stress your luck, no whammy station... Defend the orb! Defend the orb. Orb. I hope it's easier than Girl Power Station. Because that was mean. Please defend the orb. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. You can shoot the orb to help it recover health. That's true. I did not know that. Oh! Okay. You have the big gun. You gotta hit the tentacle on the big guys. Or at least near the center. Oh, stop. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. This is a different sort of stage. Um... I think hitting the big ones at a distance is great, uh, because when they get close they do a lot of damage. I think the little ones are way easier to hit when they're close, and if you're lucky you might get a little bit of your ink on the orb. But, other than that, I mean, I think you were doing a fine job. Yeah, no need to conserve ammo. No need to conserve ammo. Uh, and yeah, just trying to hit the upper half of the the Octo Zeppelins and they seem to go down. Oh no, the big ones do too much damage. That's what I was saying, I think those ones you want to... You want to get those as soon as you can. Yeah. Whereas the little ones, if you can catch them right by the the orb, you're fine. And like I said, you might even get lucky and get a little bit of your ink on your your orb to help rejuvenate it. Mm. 
I'm just going to go out on a limb, though, and say that you probably can't heal tank this one. Probably not. I doubt that you can do enough health restore to make up for the onslaught that that later part of the level does. So you can't ignore the little ones. You cannot ignore them. <laughs> but, uh... So that's good to know. Yeah. But they are definitely a much lower priority. Right. Yeah, no, if you have to make a choice and take the shot, the big ones definitely, uh... They don't mess around. to wonder what the orb do, not gonna lie. Like, why is it so important and why did we leave it out there? Or is this one of those, like, weird psych, uh, psych out type campaigns where it's actually not important, but, you know... It's not important except for the fact I failed a mission if it does. Well... I mean the larger apparatus that you're serving right now. Obviously it's important to you because it gets you the points to continue on the rails. But why is it important to the, uh, the combo line? You know what I mean? It's not. They're shooting missiles at it. I suppose that's true. I mean, I hate to say it, but... So it is just an arbitrary objective that you're being given. Okay. That's my understanding. Come on. Oh my goodness. I thought you had that one. I was just going to be quiet and not say anything, though, because I didn't want to jinx it. But, uh... Yeah, why talk on a YouTube show? <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> Sorry. I'm just that's messing. That's fair. Yeah. Uh... They do send a lot of those missiles at the end. They like, do. I think you really could ignore them if they kept coming at the pace they do for the first half of this stage. But it seems like once that 30 second mark comes in, they just sort of swarm. Little jerks. I do think you had a good idea, though, that whenever you're not firing at anything specific, just aim at the herb. Get it some health back. At least for that second half, it really seems to help. Not that there's very often that you're not trying to take out a Zephyr. No. Oof. No. That was even closer, though. Yeah. You saved, like, 20th of a Two second. Two-tenths of a second. Yeah. They couldn't replace some of these with, like, I don't know, the funny bowling balls or, you know, any of that nonsense. Yeah. Remember the bowling ball levels? Those were fun. Like, I don't know anybody who had a problem with those. Oh, man. It's, it's brutal at the end of it.
Hooray! Ah. Oh. DJ Octavio! That's a cool kick. Yeah. So if they ever make a Splatoon cereal like they did with the Super Mario cereal... They've got the mushroom, the... the... If they don't make the marshmallows look like some of this stuff... Yeah, no, it's... Not all of it. I get that not everything's iconic, but... Uh... <laughs> I think that one was your resignation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Next time on Endless Mode, we're going to try to beat a stage without getting hit or setting foot in ink. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Right? Fun. Fun. <laughs>